van. And he's not the first person to have died as a result of a ride in the back of a Baltimore police van. But the police culture, the idea that, okay, hey, you don't understand. Freddie Gray was arrested 18 times, so that sort of gives us as cops an excuse to do what we do because people don't understand who we are but if you live in an area of high crime you do understand the police because you see them and you live with them what can be done do you think to change to slowly change that mentality that it's always us against them when it comes to cops well it's difficult because the police are being criticized all the time certainly now after uh, Ferguson and, and uh, the horrific events of of uh, South Carolina. Uh, so it's insulating. The cops sort of come together and uh, they believe that people don't understand them. I think communication is the key. Uh, it always is. Just have to talk more to the communities and uh, big cities are generally speaking uh, doing that and I know Baltimore has, has done that but obviously more more has to be done. I think you've got to have one standard. First of all the police that uh, brought in Freddie Gray did not know his arrest record. They didn't even have a charge on him. There's a question of whether he should have been arrested. So that had nothing to do with whatever happened in the van. But we live in New York where you've had the mob. We've never seen mobsters who supposed to run organized crime treated in ways that we've seen some civilians. So at some level, the police are dealing with high crime areas at another level they deal with high criminals a different way you've got to have one standard for everyone for that communication to work I mean you have the reality is you have a disproportionate amount of crime in communities of color therefore you have more police in those areas and more police contacts I mean that's where problems uh, arise and I think we have to also address that